Hey, it's been about five minutes. Time for a haul. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to Montague at the Lake. Quick haul for you, because why not? Who said there was a ban on buying? I, I don't remember remember that at all, but I got some fun stuff this time, really fun stuff. <clears throat> we'll start at the top, just because it's easy. Classic ad address book from CP Colgate Palmolive Company. Pristine, never used, not a mark in it. Got it for a number of reasons. Beautiful plain blue cover, easy to cover or deal with. If you wanna keep it minimal, you can. A little bit of embossing, not a big deal. One little cluster and I'm, I'm done with the cover. Easy peasy. A reason number, that's probably the fourth or fifth reason I got it. The real reason I got it is because it's filled with all of these beautiful reproductions of their products, old, old ads throughout. They're beautiful. Some are on heavier paper than others. Colgate, cashmere, bouquet, talcum powder. Excuse me, talc powder. So fun. The great old packaging. Rockwell. Another reason I got it is because, of course, I'm going to take out all of these and use them for my vintage books and whatnot. But these pages are pretty heavy heavy duty so this would make a really good base for mixed media because the pages are so heavy and I also like that it's a creamy color a lot of the address books are white and this is a nice vintage color already so you don't have to work quite so hard to vintage it up if it were bright white well then I would do a different kind of project in it but since it's yellowy creamy I'm gonna go with vintage uh, the the ads are on bright white, <clears throat> glossy paper. But look how fun. Some beautiful old script. This is a, a reproduction of a letter that Mrs. Abraham Lincoln wrote about cashmere bouquet soap. Mrs. Lincoln. How fun is that? You just never know what you're going to find. Beautiful. Beautiful old things. So it's just loaded with not only beautiful things to play with but potential it's got a lot of good uses that was 99 cents i think well worth it well worth that dollar i can't turn down a dictionary especially one that's made specifically for writers i don't know if i'll tear this up or if this will go on my writer's bookshelf if i tear it up look at all the goodies and it's it's like a dictionary, but it's a thesaurus, and it's specifically for writers, so it's geared a little bit differently than just a normal, everyday student student's thesaurus. Holy smokes. I saw something stuck in here. I wonder if it's some kind of fun kind of ephemera. Somebody else's handwriting, some kind of notes, or a flashcard. Something. Where was it? While I'm flipping through, interesting lists, usage notes... Again, I don't know if I'm going to have the heart to tear it up at all. There it is. I can, I can hardly read it. Hand, R-E, horse measurement equal four inches. Half finger, Swiss horse. Uh, what? <laughs> it's in here with the H's. I'll have to look it up and see if, uh, if it's in here. I don't see it. Half baked. There's that. Anyway, beautiful. $2.50. Ooh, some pricey books we got this time. Yes, indeed. But if I'm going to learn, it's worth it. And I can always learn. I'm always learning. This is fun. It's funny. I got these a few days ago. And this morning, I watched Janet Nash is, was, is part of a round robin for a theme, I don't know if it's monthly or weekly, I haven't watched, I'm kind of new to her channel, so I, I don't know the details. But the theme that I watched the video hop on was mail, or postage, as they say in the UK. There were maybe 10 or 12 different crafters that 
took on the theme of male and made a video with their take on it, which is really cool. I love when people do take one theme and everybody does it because it's always so different. And Janet, she brought up the idea of the the trifold back in the 70s there there were letters it was a letter size and you wrote your letter on the inside and then folded it and folded it and there was a little sticker that matched and on the other side you wrote your address and put your stamp on and put it in the mail all in one little kit and they came in these little folders and you could stick your stamps in there and just her talking about it of course brings back all those memories and and you know that's where the love of this stationery came from or this obsession with paper it was way back when you know with with those little secret notes you could write and little pen pals that you had and and so it's funny that I, I picked this up a couple of days prior to watching that video. Timely nonetheless. So this is perfect square. That's awesome. I love the bicycle. It's been ubiquitous for a while these last, I don't know what, five, six years. So it's probably going to fade out here pretty quick. I, I just find it so, it was so pretty. Envelopes to match. Matchy, matchy, don't you know? Leaves on the back. Aren't they just so cute? So cute. Lots of envelopes. So I don't think it was ever used, really. Now is mine, mine, mine. And it has this handy dandy. There's got to be a use for this cute little bugger. It needs a new ribbon. That's pretty tired. But 59 cents. Isn't this just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book? The Complete Tales, Beatrix Potter, The Complete Tales. This one was $2.59 as well, or $3.00, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's in beautiful condition. Her, her drawings are just so amazing. This is all, all this is now uh, public domain, so you can go online and find all kinds of it and have your way with it. Um, do with you what you will. I love all these little black and white. They're so pretty. I don't know if I'll have the heart to tear it up. Either way, I had to have it. Whether I decide to tear it up because, oh my goodness, there's so many beautiful things that I could play with. But, oh dear, I don't know if I could. I'm a little sleeper. A little sleeper guy. So, again... I was shopping in the high dollar section, $2, I think it was $2.50. I was going through all the travel books again to try and find some tickets or bus passes or something interesting. I did not find any goodies in here, physical goodies in here, but I'll show you why I bought this book. Chihuly glass is is a there are no words it's just amazing that is why i bought this particular book for that picture and there's loads of beautiful pictures in here what is this pacific northwest with oregon washington and vancouver beautiful nature pictures maps interesting photography I mean, there's just a million reasons to have these different books. And this was 50 cent, 60 cents, I think. So, worth every penny. So, we'll stick with the books. A Writer's Time, A Guide to Creative Process from Vision Through Revision. I love writer's books. Uh, a look, a bookmark for a real book. Anyway, I, I find it fascinating reading about the process, the creative process, how other writers work. Just fascinated by writing. So this will go in my writer's library. Why is my dog doing that? Because he's bored and he's teething. It's This isn't difficult. Book on dogs. Look how pretty. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but it is a beautiful teal color. I don't know that I'll tear this up. Um... So much energy there you know it's got great words and beautiful pictures uh, so I don't know if I'll tear it up probably not it'll go with the dog book collection one I've not heard of or seen before so it's always good to have new information on familiar topics 
I got one of these because I had seen a video from We're Just Two Sisters. I think it was the one. I linked it in an earlier video about using this sewing pattern tissue paper to vintage up new pictures from glossy magazines. And so I, I picked the one that had the most bulk to it, the most heft, because they're all 60 cents. And so I picked one that had a lot of pictures in it. Excuse me, paper in it. More bang for your buck, don't you know? This stuff is great for collage. It's good for vintaging up anything. There's the patterns, the lines, the little writing on it, the numbers. There's so many fun things that you can do with this other than yet another sewing, vintage sewing book or anything that has to do with sewing. It doesn't have to have anything to do with sewing. This paper is what we're after. Glossy photo paper, premium glossy photo paper. This one's not even open. Four by six, 25 sheets, four by six, 30 sheets. This one was open, but it doesn't look like there was many, if any, used. This is so much fun to play with. Of course, print pictures, you know, I'd love to do that. But alcohol inks on glossy paper, so much fun. I have one. I've shown it before. I've, I haven't done it much lately. But oh, it just turns out so fun. This was uh, homemade alcohol inks spritzed on glossy paper. And then I put a piece of plastic wrap or a piece of Walmart bag on it and let it dry. That's how the patterns got in it. But oh my goodness. This is a piece of that photo paper with those fun sprays that I made with the food coloring. Link for that is below. Turned out really cool. Again, sprayed them on and then laid a piece of saran wrap on top and weighted it down to get a patterned effect. I didn't wait long enough, uh, so it didn't work as good as the alcohol ink pattern did, but it's pretty cool. I love that you have no control really over what it's going to do or how it's going to bleed and react. Look how fun that is. So cool. These were 79 cents. That's a lot of fun for 79 cents. Dollar sixty because I got two. But you had to be careful. There were some sample ones for the same 79 cents. And the sample ones that you get with a printer, usually, there might be five, maybe 10 sheets for the same 80 cents. So I got the biggest ones that they had, 30 sheets and 25 sheets. You know, even if you're shopping at a thrift store, you have to be thrifty, right? There's no reason to pay 80 cents for five sheets when I can pay 80 cents and get 30 sheets. And I just love how that works out. I just think it's so cool. And it's not sticky at all or tacky. Uh, just fun. So I want to do lots more of that. That's why I got these. And the last thing in this particular haul was 99 cents. And I'm, I'm not even really sure what it is. I, I think it's window cling. Maybe, maybe you wet it and put it in a window. It's beautiful colors. Let's see if I have. It's just really pretty. Sorry for the ridiculous glare. I have to save up for some box light. Anyway, it's a whole, it's a whole roll of it. I think it'd be great for a book cover. I have some windows I'd like to cover up so it could work on that. I just saw lots of potential here for 99 cents. There's, there's quite a bit left on the roll. I don't know. It, it seems to me you'd have to wet it and stick it. I'll have, I'll cut a piece off, wet it, and stick it to a piece of glass and let you know. Oh. So I tried it on the window. It does not stick at all. And there's nothing, there's no backing on it to remove. It has to be more than shelf liner. Because if you line shelves with it, you barely see it. Anybody have any ideas? Anybody? Anybody? Do you know what this is? It's got a very... This top is perfectly smooth, but this side is really textured. There's glitter in it. I don't know what it is. 
but I have a whole roll of it. That is my haul today. Not a great big haul, but well, you know, a haul enough. Since it's short, I can add these. I am stocking up on index cards. The reason I went to St. Vinny's this time, the only reason I went, was for index cards, vintage ones, older ones, and I'm looking for a specific book. So I wanted index cards in that book. The first day I went, it was Wednesday. I had to be out for some reason or another. So that, well, since I'm out, I'm gonna go look and see if they have index cards. And I went to St. Vinny's. Every single parking spot in the entire lot was full, all the way in the front, all the way around the side and back of the building. And I thought they must be giving shit away. Uh, I don't need anything that bad. I am not going into a packed St. Vinny's. I don't like going in when it's empty. Little, I wasn't gonna do it. So I just turned around, came home. Uh, F all that. So then I went, I had to be out again the next day and then I went and it was nice and quiet. And I had the place to myself, but they did not have index cards, but I got all this other stuff. So when I was at Walmart the other day, they have all their back to school stuff out. These were easy to grab. I was at, I was right there by the cash register. They had these for, I think, 50 cents, 70 cents, maybe. The reason I like the older ones is because they're thicker. They're hardier. You know, they, they, they take a lot more abuse. I have, I've been doing a lot of index card backgrounds lately and I don't want to run out. I, I have some vintage ones left from previous hauls, but I've been doing so many index cards that I didn't, I didn't want to run out. So now I have at least a few to play with. And I flashed these the other day on a video, but I got these uh, at Amazon. Our, our stores here never got these little half composition books. And they are just a really, really good size to play with. Cat Hand has started just, I believe it's a mixed media book she's doing with her half composition book. Lots of people have used these to great, great end. And like I said, we just didn't have any. And I wanted some. And these were, I think they were $8. They come, you could get six of them all black for about the same price and i hemmed and hawed i couldn't decide and then i decided i wanted the pretty ones so i got the pretty ones and i got my first texture paste i'm so excited because i i had to play with it you know here's a lesson in cleaning off your stencils i put my favorite stencil on here and this was supposed to be bright white because this is bright white but I, the stencil that I used was full of vintage photo and as I moved the texture paste around the wet the moisture of the texture paste reactivate reactivated the vintage photo and uh, turned all my texture paste yellow <laughs> vintage photo which is fine it's all right I'm, I'm gonna figure out a way to whiten it up or brighten it up or whatever but you learn as you go that's what you're supposed to clean off your tools because you never know what the next thing is going to be but oh is it fun i can't i can see why it's so popular i can't wait to play around with it some more so that's fun so that's the, the new stuff in the in the studio this week lots more coming i i've got stacks of hauls here that have been waiting and waiting but things keep coming up things keep getting pushed ahead so. welcome more hauls to come until then you have a lovely lovely crafty day or night Love up your beastlies. Enjoy your day. Mateg at the lake. Out for now.